is a this is a LeBron James has already passed Michael Jordan as the greatest player. That's what Nick Wright said. So it was Nick Wright, Chris Carter, Shannon Sharp. Um, oh. Chris Chris Carter, uh, Skip Bayless. All right, so if Skip, we're Skip Shannon, Nick Wright, and um, it's Chris Carter. Talking about accomplishments, he needs at least a couple more rings, probably one more MVP. But if we're talking about accomplishments, Jordan's not the GOAT. It's Kareem. And if it's not Kareem... That's actually a good point. I'm going to try to be objective, man. I'm going to try to listen to it the whole way through. But yeah, that's a... Uh, he got a good point. Kareem, it's probably Russell. So we're not really talking about accomplishments. Right, Russell or um, Kareem if we're talking about accomplishments. We're talking about... Who's the best? Who's the best? One game to decide your life. Who do you want in all-time history? So for LeBron to pass Jordan... He needs a time machine to go back about 11 months when he passed him the first time. LeBron's been the best player ever since about midway point of game six of last year's finals. And all he's done since then is continue that. He's on the greatest streak in postseason history since Le since Dre called him a, the B word and Clay said his feelings were hurt. He's played 16 games, his team's 15-1. Giving you 34, 9, 8, and 55 percent shooting. Yeah, LeBron been balling out. Uh, he was balling out. And when we're just comparing the two players, LeBron averages more rebounds, assists, blocks, steals. Rebounds, assists, more blocks. Yes, he does. Steals than Jordan. Shoots a better percentage from two. Shoots a better better percentage from the field and three. Percentage from three is the more versatile defender. Can guard all five positions. Uh, I'm not giving you that. Jordan's a better defender. Can he can do everything Jordan could do, but better. So what does he need to do to pass Michael Jordan? He already done passed Michael Jordan as far as who's the best player ever. Go ahead, CC. I, I'm, 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 I want to go after skill. What, what I would like to do is I'd like to take this conversation back, say, right in the middle of Michael Jordan's career skill. I used to travel. Michael and I were good friends. We travel around, watch my great basketball fan, Ron Harper. He's my homeboy. Grew up in Dayton, Ohio. Very good friends with my family. So. I was, I was blessed to be a part of the Michael Jordan show, traveling with him, playing golf with him. And at that time, Skip, in the mid-90s, who did we discuss as the greatest basketball player there? In the mid-90s? In the mid-90s. Before we were talking about Jordan. Uh, we the mid-90s, so after 93, uh, after Jordan won the three championships, it was some people saying he was the greatest, but... It was between uh, like Kareem, well, Kareem to me, Kareem and Russell probably with the greatest, and then Magic passed them, and then Jordan. Uh, after the first three, I don't think so. I think Magic was still the greatest at that point. We were talking about Jordan in the mid '90s, but, but before we were saying that he was the greatest, it was either Kareem, yeah, or we were talking about champions, Bill Russell, right? Okay. But once Michael came, they knew he couldn't pass Russell, so they started looking at Michael in a different category compared to the other greats, even Elgin Baylor. Um, Oscar Robinson. So they changed it. So when Mike got three, they thought that he potentially could. Then he took some time off. Then he got three more. That's what put him in the conversation. But before that, we were talking about Kareem and Bill Russell. Now, why shouldn't we still be talking about all those four players? Because they play a, a lot of different positions. It's hard to compare them. Right. Like you couldn't, you couldn't compare Russell and Kareem. Like, and you can't compare LeBron and Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan to us right now, because he's undefeated in championships, it's going to be hard to knock him off being the greatest basketball player. Yeah, good point. Yeah, Jordan's legacy will going to be hard to top. Player ever. Nick is trying to make a point of who plays basketball better. If that's going to be the question. If you look at all the... Yeah, but that's a weak... Yeah, who we'll play basketball better? Okay. Uh, metrics besides to me, Tracy McGrady is a better basketball player than uh, Dominique Wilkins. Um, to me, he's better than George Gervin. To me, uh, Tracy McGrady is better than um, he's just as good as Wade and Iverson. But you got to look at he, his career got cut short. No MVPs, no championships, first round exits, all of that, man. Like Iverson got MVP, Wade got a Finals MVP. Uh, what are the NBA teams about the same? But I'm just saying. He got two scoring titles. Iverson got four. Uh, Wade won three titles, and he was the leader on all three teams. Um, I'm just saying, we want to go about who played basketball better. I don't know. T Mac is up there with anybody, really, if you think about it. But accomplishments does matter. Free throw shooting. LeBron does that better than Michael. 
But man, there's a thing called winning the game. And there's a thing called the eye test. And <laughs> Michael <laughs> Jordan. So party, LeBron, right? I think the, God is out of the game. I'm angry yes. with you guys. Uh, Michael Jordan. He passed all those tests for me. Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball. I'm going to let um, Nick Wright went first and then Chris Carter. The two guests. So after they, Chris Carter go, I'm going to cut it short and um, do part two. Player ever. And I disagree with Nick because I saw it and the ability of what he could do when everything was on the line. Now, LeBron, his cement's not dry yet. Michael cement is dry, and a lot of them things in the cement, you know when you have cement, you lay cement for, there's like little uh, fingerprints in it, little birds get on little, but a lot of those little things with Michael, we smoothed them over, we forgot them. With LeBron, we pick every little thing out of the cement to make the difference in the art. Well, that's because it's more social media now, that's all. Mm-hmm, Chris, by 19. Yeah, so now um, I'm gonna do part two.